Hello friends, today we're going to design an animate slide presentation like this. So first thing we're going to insert the shape, the rectangle one. So just uh, do it without perfectly. We're gonna uh, remove the outline if it exists and then we just going to copy just hold the control key but for the first i'm going to choose the color palette in here so you can choose whatever you want you can choose another so i gonna copy this uh, uh color code and go to the wall field color and go to this custom and paste the color code there and then click ok you're gonna apply the color that we just copy at the moment and we're going to copy this uh, uh, rectangle just hold control and then move the mouth those elements is gonna be copy okay i choose a five uh, rectangles and then we're going to apply the color uh, i'm gonna copy this code and paste back just do it uh, all of these elements following by the color that i'm choosing All right, so now we have that the color. So we're going to select all these rectangles, hold shift and click all these element, and grouping all the element, and then we can uh, resize the element fit our, our slide. So it gonna be fit perfectly, and then we going to uh, end grouping it back. Okay, so we have ungrouping these elements, and then we go to insert. To insert is triangle so we're gonna flip that into the shape so it look like the the arrow one the arrow hat and we're gonna resize to reshot a little bit and then we change the we remove the outline so it doesn't have the outline around it and we're going to copy those and put beside to each rectangle okay can see we gonna put it the same row at the same row after then we're going to change into the same color and we can see the recent color that we, we already paste in there just place all those color all right so we can see this uh, a little bit gap in there so now I'm going to uh, put this uh, shape into the union, so it's gonna be combine this element in together. Okay, and you can see some of the element or rectangle, the shape that we design is uh, disappear because it uh, sit in front of each. So we're going to put it in the back. We're gonna see the, those element sit on each layer together. I mean, for each element, it will be sit on each. So now we're going to insert the text box and we're going to design for this uh, the title, the header, the title one. So we can put uh, what is your topic there. For example, I'm going to put uh, those uh, five elements, water, and we change the style, font size, as well as the color font to the white one. Okay. So we're going to resize to fit this element perfectly. Uh, whatever you can do it, it's just uh, you happy with the result is okay. Okay, then we're going to do it all those rectangles, just put next to each other. Okay, so I'm going to change the text to the topic or the title that related. Uh, what your topic is you can put it so next we are going to uh, add the description this kind of description so we're going to resize to the small font 
and change the font as well. So it's just a dummy text or simple text you can put. So you can see the spaces so I choose gonna be adjust at the at the left then we're going to copy it to all those elements as well So then we're going to put the shadow on each and then we just going to select all those uh, shape and go to format shape and change it to the drop shadow to this one and change the blur and change some property that you can happy with this result and then it's okay. Okay, I think it's okay. Next we're going to put the, the icon. So I'm going to insert the icon. So by the following uh, title, I'm going to insert the following or uh, some icon is not is not exist or not available for me. So I'm gonna choose uh, some icon that represent to each title or each topic that uh, we have. Okay. You can see we select on each icon, and we can on we can see the insert button is select. 3, 4, 5, something like that. I mean, we can insert a batch icons. Okay, so it doesn't exist, so I choose, I'm gonna choose this one, represent to the spirit. Okay, then we can change the graphic wheel to the white color, and also change outline as well if it exists. And then we're going to move those icons to each of the uh, elements or each topic. You can see the grid when we drag and move the icon. So we can know that it's uh, sit at the same row. Then next we're going to put the number at the button there. So we just copy, just hold control and then you can drag those uh, te text box and we can place to the next. Okay, we can change we change this number by the following. And then I think it's uh, enough for this uh, design. So now we going to start a animate this uh, slide. So we're going to select all this element in H to group. Just hold the control and G for windows. Okay, select all the element and control G. We group all the elements in one. Alright, so we already group it. You, you can see that it's uh, missing this indicator arrow. So uh, send it to back again, do it again. Alright, so the result is okay now. We can duplicate this line and we start move the each of these elements sit below, I mean the state on each other. Okay, so like that. You can see this it's high below I, the layer is below in each other so we can we can see the, the design look like the the paper which is sit on each other okay so now we going to select all these elements okay I cannot select so I click control a and then select all element you gonna move it to the side of this line the edge of the slide you can see we can see the line of the slide there, the border, and we put over there, okay? So we can imagine that when we gonna move the slide, the, the animate is gonna be like the curtain close. Okay, we gonna move the slide, the second slide to the first one. You can see the transition for the first slide is none, okay? 
but for the second one you're gonna choose this one morph morph transition and do the thing like that okay you can increase the duration if you're happy with the result okay just change it and play with it okay now we're going to see the result okay so this is the first line and you want to click it you cannot see this animate the stack like that and you can see the frame it just look like the stuff but for the real time in my slide it's work perfect i mean it it means that the slide move is smooth it's not like the frame that i record this is because of the recording software okay okay i hope you love this video don't forget to subscribe if you want to see this uh, kind of contents for the next and i'm going to create more and the template you can go to the link description i'm going to provide it the link below you can download it if uh, the powerpoint your powerpoint version it does not exist the transition you can also download it and just make change the text or description okay so it's gonna be worth a find as well okay see you in the next video